Hello everyone. Uh, I thought I'll show you a video. The problem I had with my toilet. This is an ideal standard uh, toilet. Simple, straightforward with a cistern and a seat. But the problem with this is if you have a look, the way the cistern is set up on the seat, I actually don't have access to the inlet valve. You hardly can put your hand through here. And likewise the other side. It's very close space. So I actually have leakage in this toilet and the simplest of the answers was to change the inlet valve but there is no excess. You can't get your hand around there to change that valve. So I'll show you in this video there are two problems which can happen with a leaky toilet. I had a silent uh, flow my water bills continued to sort of soar and what the problem was was if you look inside here there used to be it's not there now because I have repaired this one but I still have a problem with my underneath toilet there used to be a silent stream flowing through from this part just going right if you put your finger around there you can sometimes feel it or if you put a tissue you can feel it as well so there was a silent stream flowing in and which was causing an uh, upsurge in my water bills. So the problems you get, if I show you inside, there are two things inside this. So if I take this off, so if you look at it, there are two mechanisms, two things in it. This, uh, the one with the blue float, that's the inlet valve from where the water comes in. And then this is the, the flush itself where you press on this thing and then it opens the valve from underneath and the water flows into the bowl. Now, if you look at this thing here, here, I had a constant sort of a dripping, water dripping uh, out of this inlet as well. And so as I was saying, there's two things which can go wrong. There is a, in this flush thing, there is a valve underneath which has got a rubber and that can go faulty. And likewise, in this one, there is a diaphragm underneath here, which can go faulty as well. And I first of all replaced the, uh, the valve in this flush mechanism. That didn't sort the problem out. And then eventually I replaced the diaphragm in this uh, inlet valve as well. And then finally, all the leakage stopped. You can see there is nothing dripping in this one, uh, in this inlet valve at all and it's working all right. So I'll show you, I'll take you to the other toilet where I still have these problems outstanding and I'll change it. I thought it'll help someone if I make this video because I really struggled to find all this information online. And I'll, I'll show you step by step what I did. So here we are in my uh, downstairs toilet. You can see it's a similar thing, same kind of a flush and this inlet valve. And you can see it drips. See the water is dripping from here. And that, that was the problem, but it was a lot more on the upstairs toilet. So, so the problem is with this, uh, the diaphragm underneath. And from here, if the valve is faulty as I showed you, this is where you can appreciate, I think it's not appreciable in the video. You can see a small stream flowing constantly into the bowl. but. On this one it's almost imperceptible but I'll show you how we uh, go ahead and change this quite a simple thing uh, before I do all this the problem again with this one is I actually it's very difficult to get your hand underneath to close the water supply even you cannot so I'm gonna go to the kitchen and I'm just gonna shut the main main water supply because that's the easiest way I can do it. it's underneath my kitchen sink so I've got the supply shut and we're gonna go back in here and what I'm gonna do first of all is just flush this toilet so we can then take the thing out so I'm just gonna flush it and then what we have to do 
you can see this this is an ideal standard flush thing if you look at this thing here I just have to give it a, a anti-clockwise turn what I can see is it's still filling up I think there is some water <laughs> it's still filling up although I've stopped my mains water supply it is still filling up well, hopefully it'll close in a moment but what I can go ahead and show you is what I do is you need to use a bit of a force you have to unlock this thing so you get your hand around here you see I've unlocked it that comes out and underneath you can see Oh, this should be black in color. You can see all this filth. Basically, this is the uh, the scale which deposits. And this blue things that you see, you know, sometimes we put uh, bowl cleaners into the cistern itself. They tend to jam these things and make them further faulty. So that is that layer of this uh, the toilet cleaning things. Anyway, what we're gonna do is we're gonna change this rubber which is not as flexible as it used to be I'll show you uh, the new one I have so this is the one I bought it says genuine original spare parts you can get this online it's called a flush valve seal and seal clip so that's the seal and this white thing, this thing, is the clip. So, and it's a similar one over there, so I'll show you. So I need to get a screwdriver. And if you just watch it, I'm back in a moment. So here I am uh, with this flush thing and you need a screwdriver to get underneath this plastic clip and you just need to unclip it thus you get that out and then it's this seal <laughs> look at that the amount of blue stuff it's got on it this is that uh, toilet cleaning things you put in the system so they're not recommended okay I think we should give it a wash Close my main supply. Right? It's a good idea just to sort of clean it. Don't think there is any debris left. Okay, so it's very simple. So this is the new valve seal and this edged and it goes up the other way. Very simple. That's it. And then uh, this comes with a, a new plastic clip as well. Now all you need to do is use a bit of a force. That's it. So that's one thing replaced and now uh, go away. same way into the thing and I'm just gonna give it a, a clockwise turn you need to use sometimes a bit of force that's it fixed okay so that's the first thing we've changed the flush valve seal so before I go ahead and change this, what I can tell you is normally most of the people have problems just with this flush valve seal. And you just replace the flush valve seal and that silent uh, flow of water into the bowl stops. In most of the cases it does. In my case what happened was that silent flow stopped but this thing which I showed you previously it continued to drip water and the, the system continued to overflow. As it reached its limit that is when the water continued to flow into the toilet. 
So I had to go ahead and change that seal as well, the diaphragm one. Otherwise, in most cases, this is more than enough. You just change the flush valve seal and that sorts the problem out for you. But because I had this as well, it took me further time to find out that this was a problem. And that's why I'm replacing this because I showed you earlier there was a drip uh, dripping happening through this inlet valve. So simply this is quite easy as well. You can see this particular one, ideal standard. It's a quarter turn. So you just turn it anti-clockwise because they've been there for so many years. They get fixed. Aha. Uh -huh. So it goes like this. Quarter turn. And then you can just undo it. And the diaphragm is actually underneath if I show you. It's a bit difficult, you can't get this thing out. So if I show you, you see that black thing with a red dot in the middle? That's actually the diaphragm. I'll take it out, I'll show you. I have a faulty one from my upstairs one. I'll show you what it looks like. So see, this is what it was and that is what happened to it. It broke. And this happened because the rubber goes hard over time and it's not as flexible and then it can cannot hold it and it just cracks and water leaks through it. So, okay, another thing I want to show you with this is you cannot get these types now. So you can see it's got a few ridges, ribs on it. I bought one which said it was Armitage and this is what the new one looks like. Yeah, the main thing is underneath surface. If you look at it underneath, it's got flat edges. Now something like this will not fit in the one I have, the quarter turn ideal standard in lead valve. It will not fit it and the water will continue to, to leak. So I'll show you what the problem is. So if you look at this one, it's got this sort of a raised edge. And that is what needs to fit into the groove into that inlet valve. So, so I bought another one, which I had to source from a local supplier. You see, I, I bought this one, the one with flat edges from Screwfix. That didn't work. Then I ordered it online. I, same thing came again. Went to a, a local supplier, a local plumbing merchant, and I found this. And you can see the difference. So this one's got... This one's got raised edges. I'll show you, compare it uh, to the other one in front of you. Look. And this one's got flat edges. You see the difference? The one's got a raised one and you need the this one. That's the one. So you need this one for the type of uh, inlet valve I have. Okay. So I'll take it out from that thing now, show you. So if you go back into this, So underneath, you can see that the one with the red thing, I'll take it out. Let's just unclip it. There we go. Have a look here. Okay, so this one's got raised edges. And there will be some break somewhere. The color is coming off, you can see it already. Basically, it needs replacing. So we'll go ahead, replace it. Just wash my hands. Very simple, I'm just going to check it again, just to clean the edges, just with my finger. There is no debris in here anyway. <laughs> and just, so that the one with the raised one. Clipping is quite easy. Look at the undersurface, you can see a, a ridge, a rib thing in there, can you see? how it's got that thing. That is where it needs to fit. Underneath here. And just clip it in. Just making sure that it's nice and sealed. 
and that's basically it so that's fixed and this goes back on it again a quarter turn clockwise this time so you look for the edges and then you can go between them so like this there will be a That's the final click and that's it and what I'm going to do now is turn my water supply on we've changed both the valves and we'll see if the problem goes away So here it is filling up and so far I can't see a drip from the top end which you could see previously. So hopefully we'll have sorted. And yeah, if I just pull it up to see. nothing underneath either at the moment okay so that is what I wanted to show you two things where we've changed the flush seal valve and also we've changed the diaphragm of the inlet inlet valve so the one I had this was a ideal standard so ideal standard and when I checked it online they say Armitage is similar so Took me a long time to sort this out but hopefully it is all done in a moment it should stop filling up so i can then finalize my video <laughs> okay so the flush seal valve i bought it was around about three and a half pounds and then the diaphragm actually on the internet i bought it for three pound fifty again but that didn't work the one I bought from local merchants the one with the raised edges that was five five forty you can get it online for around about four eighty or five pounds you can get it online from Amazon or even eBay okay it looks like it's finally filled up and there is no there's no leakage you can see that there's no no leakage around that.